So today I wanted to do something a little different and I've always wanted to do a video like this. I thought today would be perfect. As you saw in the title, today is going to be an eyeshadow palette tag. I'd seen a couple of videos already with this particular tag, so I wanted to go ahead and join in. So as you saw in the title, it's eyeshadow palettes that represent me. It's just an eyeshadow palette collection tag. If that sounds like something that interests you, please stick around. And if you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Veronica and I'm just a makeup enthusiast. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you're notified when my videos post. Couple of things. My husband's asleep. My kiddo is asleep. I don't know how long that's gonna last. Second thing, I'm using my iPad. So if you see me looking down, that's what that's what I'm looking at so I can read the questions right so let's get started the first question is if I would pick an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents me just through the color story if you've been watching me and following and watching my videos that I post you you'll know that I love the color purple and I also love the color black almost in every video I know there's a few videos that I'm not wearing black but for the most part i have black shirt on or a tank or so this one when you see the color story and if you know me personally you'll know that i'm like okay yeah i could see why that represents her this palette is the kaleidos futurism 3 astro pink and this is what the color story looks like this palette is gorgeous and i'm gonna show you five of the colors well you're not even gonna be able to see the last two because they're like my skin color but the first four It has purple, it has black, it even has this duochrome. I like to call them like chameleon colors, but it's just, I think this one represents me perfectly. Next question, if I would pick an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents me just from the packaging alone. I was pretty torn by two different palettes by the packaging alone. And the first one that I was originally going to choose was this one. So this one is All That by ColourPop. It has, you know, the eyes, it has the lip. It represents me on my makeup side, but I feel that this one represents me the best. It is the ColourPop Flutter By. I think this one is perfect. It has my favorite colors on, in there, the purple, it has some black in there. It has some beautiful flowers, and most importantly, it's the butterfly. The first tattoo I ever got was a butterfly. My cousin has the same, or not the same, but has a butterfly tattoo that we got together. And so that's why I chose this one. The next question is, if I would pick an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents spring, I feel that best represents spring is flower palette from the Bambi collection. In my opinion, I think that best represents spring from my palette collection. And the color story is, which is why I chose, or when I bought this, it's because of the color story. It has the black, it has the purple mauves. I think that pretty good representation for spring in my collection. Next question is, if I would pick an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents happy, the first thing that popped in my head was Lizzie McGuire, What Dreams Are Made Of. I think this represents happiness. When they revealed this collaboration, I was like, oh my gosh, like it, it made me smile. And at first I wasn't going to to buy the palette, but I'm I'm really glad I did. It's it's a it's a it's nice. I like it. It's a it's it's making me smile right now. And then this is the color story. It's a fun color story. That is the one that represents happy. The next question is, if I would pick an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents the dark, grungy in me. Black would be like the, the dark. But when I think of grungy, I think of like, like the navy blues or the like olive, like olive greens, but like a dark, dark. A palette that comes to mind that I don't have, but just as an example would be the Mary Jane palette by Melt Cosmetics would represent, in my opinion, like 
the grunge. I don't have that one. So in my opinion, I think that this palette represents the dark or grunge in me. Lunar Beauty, Eternal Eclipse. And this is the color story. And the whole last row of the palette is what really like, when I saw that one, I was like, it has to be Eternal Eclipse. I had looked at um, Moonspell, but even Moonspell has like more, I mean, it has the purples, but this one has the black and the dark blue. And I mean, look at these two. This is, this is starry eyed and this is smoke. So it, I, I think this one represents very well. The next question is, if I would pick an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents the girly in me. So the eyeshadow palette in my collection that I chose that represents the girly in me is the Sweet Pinks by Juvia's Place. And this is the color story. I mean, that is so girly. There's no, there's not one dark color in there. They're all a different shade of pink or coral, like all within the pink family. That's just, see? They're so pretty. The, the, this palette represents the girl in me for sure. The next question is, if I would pick an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents fun. So the palette that I chose is the Club Nebula and it is the collaboration with Kaleidos and Angelica Nickfitz. I cannot pronounce her last name and I do apologize, but I think this palette I mean, look at Club Nebula, look at the front. Just, you know, the packaging itself is gorgeous. And then the colors. It's so beautiful, but it's so fun. I haven't used it yet. I just got it. They had they had been sold out, and so they were waiting for the last restock, which they, they've sold out since. I think that this is the perfect representation of fun from my palette collection and the final question is if i would pick an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents inspiration so real quick story <laughs> when i did the review on lunar beauty and i had done only three episodes because they haven't had life's a drag in a really long time and i had said that strawberry dream i didn't want another pink palette in my defense i do have a lot of pink palettes lunar beauty had like a sale or a promotion or something i think it was um in celebration for manny mua's birthday or i'm honestly not too sure i don't remember not that i'm not too sure i don't remember but i went ahead and i picked up strawberry dream the reason why i chose it is because if you if you look at the the packaging it's the cl the clouds and the stars and the moon and it's called strawberry dream <laughs> and to be honest with you i think that the whole reason was it the palette itself is supposed to smell like strawberries and it it does actually i mean it does yeah that's so crazy i really just remembered that part his story is inspirational he's represented so many people and so many people look up to him and he inspires a lot of people and i find that in inspiring however the color story look at this it is so beautiful the lights don't even give it justice it's such a beautiful palette and i don't have a palette like this one I'm, i used it today i'm glad that i I'm, I'm glad that i ended up getting this palette i i really am i'm happy i'm happy with my purchase even though i said i'd never do it i'm glad because it i honestly don't have any other colors like the ones that are in that palette that's the end of the questions there was only eight questions in the description i'm going to leave all the questions in case you want to get in on the tag and also i'm going to leave angelica nikovitz i'm sorry I'm gonna leave the link for her video along with Butte Bean. They, they both did the tag. I believe Angelica started it, I think, maybe. I'm not too sure. If you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell. Ding -a -ding. And if you like today's video, 
please hit that like button, bring your friends, share the video, I give you my blessing. I appreciate everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by today and I'll see you on the next one.